Good morning, Pisces, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Will's Cards of Fancy Tarot. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate both your viewership as well as your subscriptions. Okay, so Pisces, what I like to do is something a bit different, unlike what you've been accustomed to me doing in terms of these readings, okay? Now, I'm sure you've been seeing me post these past life readings, and so with that said, I certainly like to go on and, and post one for you guys, okay? Rest assured, Pisces, that this reading is certainly will certainly not resonate for each and every one of you out there, but for those for whom you this reading is meant, I certainly hope it offers you the information that you're seeking, okay? So as indicated, ladies and gentlemen, this reading is a past life reading, and it's for those who believe in reincarnation. So you might wonder, what in the hell is reincarnation? Understand, ladies and gentlemen, that reincarnation is simply the belief that the human spirit, because it's eternal or either a promise from God, survives, ladies and gentlemen, the demise of the body and it returns to recurring lifetimes here. So let's see what the cards say in regards to your past life and, you know, who you may have been, how you might have died, okay, as well as the lessons that you learn in that life that you might want to consider embracing in this one, okay? I'm going to go on and shuffle up my uh, Shadow Terror deck today to as a way to convey your reading, and I'm just going to ask Spirit, Spirit, Please take me back to a time before the womb for Pisces. Take me back, Spirit, to a time before the womb so that I may convey a past life message to Pisces. Okay? Let me just... Right. Okay. Let's start, Pisces, by first examining the card that fell to the bottom of the deck here. Okay, interesting. We have the High Priestess, ladies and gentlemen. So, with this card, it's kind of showing me, ladies and gentlemen, that you guys had a difficult time trusting your instincts. Or you were very secretive. So much so that many of you didn't like women. Okay? You behaved superficially. You had a hard time with the yin and yang energy, masculine and feminine, which calls the divine masculine and feminine to be unbalanced, I'm getting. Okay? Now let's move right along, ladies and gentlemen, and, and try to discover who you were and how you interacted with your family during that time. All right? We have the Six of Wands there, ladies and gentlemen. So, I'm kind of feeling with this card that many of you may have felt restricted, a bit oppressed, like a failure to your family, I'm getting. That, ladies and gentlemen, no one respected me. You had more of a was me type attitude that I'm getting. Okay, I'm also feeling, ladies and gentlemen, that many of you played second fiddle or you felt that way. You felt like Ralph Ellison's Invisible Man, okay? The, the novel that he wrote back in 1952, which it details the issues that you kind of face somewhat. And although in his book, ladies and gentlemen, and just, I'm going to be brief with this. We're not going to make this an English class. <laughs> although, you know, his protagonist uh, sort of, he was mostly affected. And, and the blacks of the 20th century, the theme that he uh, conveys in that novel is universal. And for one, he conveys the, the theme of lies and deceit. And so it seems that just like that protagonist in his novel, you guys went through a process of overcoming illusions, I'm getting here. 
And while you may have appeared an individual to others, you did overcome these uh, situations, okay? So let's move on to your next card and examine your likely gender and your age, all right? Wow. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. So because this card is more of an apprentice type card, I would have to say that you guys probably were more so in your, I say 25 years to 30, somewhere in that time frame. I mean, that age range, okay? Because, and then just to look at the symbol a little bit more closely here, it looks like you guys were a man here, a heavier set man, okay? And you might have been, as I said, an apprentice in some area, or just starting a new job, or you may have been an artist. You, or even, ladies and gentlemen, you could have been in school. Um, even working with computers, because this card goes well with uh, working for computers, or with computers. And some of you might even have been a tutor, or you could have potentially been a teacher here that I'm getting here. All right, because it's all about kind of teaching someone, okay? And then again, you have, so it's like that he's painting, so you could have been an artist, all right? So let's move right along and look at what strength you learn and just to give you a few more additional occupations, all right? We have the nine of wands, ladies and gentlemen. So this is suggesting to me that your greatest strength, it seems, was having the ability to really establish firm boundaries, to stand up for yourself, ladies and gentlemen, in any given situation. And it shows that you had great persistence as well as determination here. I'm also getting to that. Some of you also might have been involved in the military, and I feel that and you may have been involved during various wars, you know, during combat, I'm kind of getting for some of you. So these occupations that I've mentioned to you guys might be something that resonate in this life here. And then you will understand why you're so interested in these areas. It's because of a past life. All right. So now let's move on and just try to glean what your greatest victory was. We have the Five of Pentacles. Wow. And, of course, this card is seen more of a poor light type card here. So, I'm getting here is that because this card, it seems your greatest victory, ladies and gentlemen, was overcoming poverty, overcoming loss, overcoming, ladies and gentlemen, a sense of abandonment. Okay? It also shows you, too, or shows a sense of, you stopping, you know, you not making it, you're not demoralizing yourself anymore that I'm kind of getting, all right? Now, of course, with your greatest victory, there comes challenges, right? So let's look and see what your greatest challenge was. We have strength. Wow. Okay. So... It kind of seems, ladies and gentlemen, with this card is that your greatest challenge was constantly allowing you, others around you, they seem to constantly have bullets you at times, or, you know, and you also constantly doubted yourself, doubted your ability to succeed. You worried quite a bit, okay? And again, if you're seeing all of these um, attributes, you kind of, in your existing life, these are, this is the reason why here. You were challenged because you were being too arrogant, narcissistic, all of these types of things, challenging, feeling, ladies and gentlemen, that a sense that, you know, you are righteous or you have a righteous sense of entitlement that I'm getting. Some of you also had problems with various substances here. You were very insecure. I also see a lot of rage. Okay? A lot of abuse that you seem to have experienced here. Or that perhaps you may have abused others sexually or vice versa here. Okay? 
So now I'm sure the million dollar question is, how in the hell did you die? Okay, let's look. Wow, it's such a positive card here. You have the nine of cups. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, I feel that many of you, you died feeling a sense of a contentment with your family here. Even though you were feeling um, kind of a bit disconnected earlier, I think that by your death, you were feeling a sense of contentment. And I feel that your family surrounded you with a lot of love, support, comfort, okay? I feel many of you were married. And I feel that you were very stable financially here with that card. There's also a possibility that you, ladies and gentlemen, you overdosed in either alcohol or various drugs here. Which might have caused your death or contributed to your death because when you have the Nine of Cups here, it shows that something went wrong in your upper body here that I'm getting. Okay? I'm kind of feeling, ladies and gentlemen, that because this card connects more so with your stomach, something went bad or you either ate something that caused your death. It's one or the other. It went bad in that area. Alright? So if you're also suffering stomach type issues and dislike this is the reason why as well all right so last but not least ladies and gentlemen what lesson did you learn in that life and what do you you might want to consider embracing in this life all right we have the four cups all right so with this card it seems to me that you learned the importance, ladies and gentlemen, of not missing opportunities. You learn to surrender boredom. You learn, ladies and gentlemen, how to get out of frustrating situations. To put your trust in God. To trust more into your intuitive faculties. To love yourself a bit more, ladies and gentlemen. You learn as well to embrace change. As well as surrender depression and unrealistic type expectations. So these are the things that you need to bring over into this life. You need to surrender worry, frustration, and you need to trust your intuitive abilities a bit more. Alright? So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go on and just take out another deck here. Just to give you a few more messages on a few things that you might want to surrender as you move forward or as you attempt to transform your distance, particularly in this life. Okay, so Spirit, what kind of messages would you like me to share here with Pisces? What kind of messages? Okay, let's see what we have. Pisces, it's time that you surrender the drama in your situation. Understand that no matter how emotionally charged the situation, and it could be something that you're, you're presently dealing with in romance or just your financial situation or whatever, it's time that you remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Because really staying centered certainly will help resolve the issue a bit more quickly. It's time that you surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or even, in fact, how to solve a problem that has been plaguing you, okay? And it's time, most importantly, that you surrender to complete healing. It's time that you open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, your emotional, ladies and gentlemen, as well as your spiritual being. And last but not least, it's time that you consider surrendering to your soul path. Understand that your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your own soul's growth. Embrace every lesson as well as every moment. Okay? So in conclusion today, Pisces, I'd like to just leave you with a final message from Spirit which I'll share with you from my amazing postcards here. Okay, so let's shuffle up and see what message the Spirit wants you to hear. 
Hey Pisces, this reading is, it really does not have an expiration period, okay? But I am making this valid, you know, throughout the entire year, all right? So Spirit, what final message would you like me to share with Pisces? Okay, here we go here, Pisces. Let's see what your postcard says. Dear you, do you feel like you need to do all the work and fix everything for your for everyone or you might have no value maybe you think you need to control everything or else nothing will get done be healed be completed etc you may think you need to conform to what others expect of you or choose a course of action to manipulate an outcome but we don't think that would be a good choice. How about this? Even if it makes you temporarily uncomfortable, do something different. Set that boundary, delegate responsibility to another, ask for your needs to be met. And when faced with an impossible situation or sticky, enmeshed relationship, repeat this mantra. I didn't cause it, I can't control it, and it's not my job to cure it. Then carry on. Feels good, doesn't it? The best part is everything just seems to work beautifully and honestly in the end. Love you so, so much. So Pisces, this is what I have for you. Be sure to take a few moments to press that subscription button. Okay, and if this re resonates with you, by all means, give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Okay, if you'd like to arrange a more personal reading, you can certainly contact me at will.brown at watconsultinginc.net. Have a nice day. Thanks a lot.